Why is it important to have the right tire for the right conditions? Let's take a look at how winter and summer tires differ and how they compare in situations like snow or heat. We start off in summer. First candidate, the winter tire. Defined by deep grooves for the best grip on snow and ice, this tread pattern has its advantages in the cold. Next up is the summer tire. A lot more tread here for better grip on a rough surface like tarmac. And finally, the summer tire's bigger brother, the semi-slick. More tread and a softer compound equals even more grip. This will be our reference here. After warming up the tires, we're on to our first comparison. A sprint race. Off we go! Semi-slick and winter tire are off to a great start. But then the winter tire's lack of grip is getting more obvious. Less tread and the higher tire profile result in more slip and deformation of the tire. That energy would otherwise be used to accelerate the car. Semi-slick first, summer tire second, and then the winter tire. All right, let's take a look at lateral performance. Slalom it is. The three of them take off together. The speed picks up with every turn, and at around the middle of the course, the winter tire is losing his rear end more and more. The summer tire is having no problems at all, and the semi-slick seems to be on rails here. I mean, just look at it. Coming to the finish line, the winter tire is just sliding through the turns, holding on to dear life. Just kidding, he knows what he's doing. In the slalom, the grip disadvantages from before still apply to the winter tire. Additionally, the lower stiffness of its sidewall also makes it harder to control the car, as it doesn't steer as direct as its counterparts. Three disciplines of our summer trio, braking. Accelerating to 150 kilometers per hour, now it's all about nailing the braking point. Here it comes. They are all braking as hard as they can. Winter takes the longest piece of road and time. Summer on a solid second place, and the semi-slick is outperforming the other two. All in all, it's clear that the winter tire comes to its limit a lot quicker in summer. And this is where it gets even more interesting. What if we change seasons? And here we are, a glorious winter day in the Alps. We're having the same setup. Well, not exactly the same, but similar. One car is on summer tires, and pretty quick in summer as we know. Another car is on winter tires. And as a reference we have today, studded tires. Especially effective on ice and hard-packed snow, we'll see how they fare on a warm winter day. You know the deal, we're off to a sprint race. Here we go. Considerable slip on all fronts. Sorry, rears of course. Lots of snow getting thrown out by the winter and studded tires. It looks like those two are battling it out here. And the studded tire has the edge. The summer tire is absolutely nowhere. Getting off the line, there was absolutely no grip at all. Finally, the winter tire's deep grooves and rubber compound for colder temperatures can make their mark. Whereas the summer tire had almost no chance of getting traction. Let's see how it does in the slalom. Right off the start, we have a similar picture. Winter and studs are off to great fun. The summer tire is trying to follow. It's definitely not like in summer. Every car has to work hard to stay in shape here. The studded tire seems to have the best lateral traction here. He's just zooming down the course. Overdoing it means having to correct things here and there, and that just costs time. Looks fun though. And then our summer tire. Well, he's just trying to finish here. It's obvious summer tires and winter conditions don't go well. The tire compound is in the wrong temperature window, and there aren't enough edges to generate traction. And the last comparison, braking. In summer, it was 150 kilometers per hour to zero. Now it's just going to be 50 to zero. You'll see why. Here's the braking point. The studded tire decelerates the fastest. Winter follows as a close second, and the summer tire doesn't want to stop at all. So what's the conclusion? Summer tires just don't work in snowy or icy conditions. Even if it seems like they do, they don't. Winter tires might be working in summer, but they are at their limit a lot faster. And because of their softer compound and tread pattern, they will be degrading a lot faster than summer tires too. And that's why it is important to have the right tire for the right conditions.